A new business is coming to the Schlitterbahn Water Park area in KCK. The proposal is the latest twist in plans to develop the land around the park. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock takes an in-depth look at the money poured into the project and where it's headed now. I want to immediately say that Schlitterbahn Vacation Village is more than any kind of water park. It's much, much more. Then KCK Mayor Joe Reardon gave an enthusiastic assessment of Schlitterbahn in 2005. At the time, plans included a resort hotel, river canals, a river walk, a marine park featuring live animals, boat rides, waterfront cabins, and restaurants. There were also plans for a Shields department store near what was billed as Schlitterbahn Vacation Village. Reardon and Schlitterbahn co-owner Jeff Henry predicted big business. This thing's huge, and it will attract people from a long, long way away. That was what you're going to see is people will come to Kansas, the Kansas City area, quite frankly, and instead of staying one or two days, we're going to see them stay maybe for a week. The state of Kansas approved $225 million in sales tax revenue, or STAR bonds, for the KCK Unified Government in 2005. The way STAR bonds work is the government borrows the money to develop commercial entertainment and tourism areas, then pays the money back from sales tax collected from businesses in those areas. While the water park was ultimately built, most of the other proposed parts of Vacation Village were not. Shields went to Overland Park, and the original $225 million in bonds were never issued. Through the recession, it caused a lot of changes to the plan they had to put together, so they've had to evolve it. Despite the recession setback, Unified Government did not give up on Schlitterbahn. In 2013, UG commissioners approved another tax plan to bolster Schlitterbahn called a Community Improvement District, or CID. Water park customers pay an additional 2% sales tax for the CID, which expires July 1, 2035. The list of approved projects from the CID money include Schlitterbahn Cabanas, concessions, kiddie pools, a lodge, and a couple of restaurants, similar to parts of the original Schlitterbahn Vacation Village plan. To date, none of those water park improvements have taken place. In 2015, the state also approved up to $164 million in star bond money for various parts of the project. Kansas State records the 41 Action News investigators obtained show $85 million in star bonds have been issued for parts of the Schlitterbahn development area and another $65 million for the U.S. soccer training complex. We asked current mayor David Elvey about it. In your opinion, has Schlitterbahn been a good investment for this community? Well, yeah, I guess a, I think so, yes. With no major resort hotel, no other businesses, and no other attractions on the water park site, the unified government has had to rely on the sales taxes of other businesses to repay its bond debt. They include these car dealerships. Eric Gentry owns three of the four dealerships and says that part of the Schlitterbahn Star Bond area has been a major positive for the community and his businesses are growing. Other businesses in the Star Bond area include Frontier Justice, which sells guns and other accessories, as well as a car wash and pinnacle sports medicine. The U.S. soccer complex is a separate phase of the deal. And all those bonds are on track and a little bit ahead of schedule from where they're supposed to be. After buying property from Schlitterbahn, Menards has applied for a building permit for a new store near the water park. A company spokesman told 41 Action News the hope is construction will begin before the end of the year with the store opening next summer. We work for that because, again, it's a source of revenue for our community. It provides needed services for the people in our community. Still, there are questions about the Schlitterbahn Water Park's future. Following the death of a 10-year-old boy on the Verruckt water slide two years ago, Jeff Henry, the same co-owner who was so bullish on the park's future in 2005, is charged with multiple felonies along with several other co-defendants. I believe the water park will continue to operate, you know, how they do it or... What will be the makeup for the ownership in the future, I don't know. Even though Verruckt is now scheduled to be torn down, the park did operate with other water slides this past summer. A Schlitterbahn spokeswoman says highlights of the past season include three lifeguard safety awards, hundreds of thousands in community charitable contributions, and strong support from our fans. The company, however, declined to release attendance numbers. But we also discovered Kansas City-based investment firm EPR Properties in this federal report last April expressed doubts about recovery covering more than $174 million in private loans for the Schlitterbahn project due to the criminal cases and negative publicity. If General Motors has a fatality, would we say that was a bad, a bad investment? I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Former KCK Mayor Mark Holland, who was in office for some of the more recent Schlitterbahn investment decisions, declined comment. We did hear from former Mayor Joe Reardon in 2005. Multiple attempts to get a new comment from Reardon were unsuccessful.